Hello and welcome back, welcome back, hello and welcome. Hi, okay, so we are back in business. It is time for testing jeans round two. Now, I didn't know whether to like give this quite a while in between the different parts, but I thought I might as well, you know, do it whilst it's current, recent, you know, continue on the cycle. Um, not a cycle, definitely not a cycle. Not a cycle, more of a review situation. So, today we have Zara, Urban Outfitters, and Topshop, so three brands. I think Topshop's very much known for their denim. Then Urban Outfitters, I don't really know. Um, and then Zara, everyone asked for. Zara, everyone wanted to see. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Now, I've just got on a little black crop top. I've got on some little red pants. If you get offended by these red pants, speak to my comments in the last video that didn't like the fact that I had the big pants on because then apparently it made the jeans not fit me as well because they were making it bulkier. Okie dokie, so that's why we've got little pants. Um, but also, just to mention, so I know in a video, if you ever mention size or anything to do with your body, you are bound to get some comments, which you guys know I'm totally here for. Give me your opinions, but... <sighs> okay. It's fair to say there was a bit of everything. I would get one comment which was like, oh my god, this is so amazing, like, I love this video, I love how you're saying, like, don't focus on the sizing, because that is what it's about, I'm saying that, like, you can buy a size in one brand and a size in another brand, and, like, the fit, you know, it's completely different, so don't judge yourself on a sizing, um, but then you'll get somebody else that's being like, oh, this made me feel really insecure, because that's not my size, that's not what this video is about, this is literally just, like, it's a me and you, girls day and we're going shopping and we're trying to find the perfect jeans and you know we're just chatting through how we feel when we put them on because these are my instant reactions to them also i sometimes like watch back the clips and i think oh that looks nicer on than i thought it did or oh that doesn't look as nice as i thought i did blah 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 blah, blah. Also, the fit. Again, because I mentioned sizing, people love to put their two pence in. And I totally, totally get it. But I would have comments which are like, oh my goodness me, like you don't need to buy your jeans in a size 10. Like that's way too big for you. I'm a size 10 and you're a lot smaller than me. Or you've got people going, those are so small for you. I don't even know why you try and fit yourself in a size 8. You're obviously a 10. Stop trying to fit a size 8. Like, what the hell? And I'm like, babe, I really don't care if I'm a size 8 or a size 10 in jeans. Couldn't care less. But yeah, people have just been very opinionated. So, if you've got those opinions, bog off. We are literally just trying on jeans. It's not that deep. I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm not trying to get offended, you know. It's the same situation. Um, but yeah, just let everyone have quite a lot to say. Obviously there's a lot of you lovely humans, but I'm just saying that this is just me trying on some jeans and seeing if you guys like them. It's a bit like the pull and bear jeans. One comment was like, oh my God, they are so tight for you. You need to return them. How can you even think they'd fit you? The other comment was, Oh, those pulling, pulling bare jeans, they loosen really quickly, so you should keep that size. You just can't win. You just can't win. So I'm not even trying to win. I really am just... Yeah. If you comment something negatively, I'll just give you a sassy comeback. So we'll go with it. Um, and then I love my Instagram stories, because that's my new thing. To just kind of share, to not take hate too seriously, because I am in the mood where I really, really don't. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, by the way, little black crop top that I've got on is from American Apparel. These are shorts. I know they are hardly shorts. They're from Shein. But this house is so warm because of the sun. Um, I'm always like, I don't know if I can have this curtain open or closed because i don't want it too bright um and then jewelry wise i've got the most adorable little earrings from shop dakota and this little necklace from coco and kinney but the shorts are coming off the shorts are coming off oh and this tan is tanologist um i've also just realized that my shorts are inside out but who cares about that um also if my extension comes out during this video i am aware i see it when i'm editing don't worry, my extensions are gonna get moved down because we tested them out being a bit higher and they're a bit too high. But it's all a learning curve. 
Yes, okay, that is far too many disclaimers for my liking. But let's start with Zara because I know that is probably the one that people care the most about. Um, I did unpackage some of these. Okay, no, those are Topshop. Topshop, Topshop. I'm actually scared from one of the pair of Topshop jeans. Okay, let's start with these Zara ones. Now, actually, I need my phone because we need the prices. I've kind of forgotten how this video goes and it definitely involves the prices. Now, these literally arrived two, three days after I filmed the other video. Um, but I did order all of them next day, so some brands are better at next day than others. But we all know that. Um, so, also, my Urban Outfitters, I bought, ordered two jeans and they came in different packages. And they're the same jeans in different sizes, so it's a bit of a joke. Um, okay, I'm searching. No, I'm not searching. I'm sorry, I'm very all over the place today. I don't know if I'm overexcited or I don't know what's going on. My purchases. Okay, I got two pairs of jeans and they were £89.97. Um, I got three pairs. Now, these are the... What the frick style were these? These are size 38. So these are a 10. High rise, full length. Is it these? TRF jeans, yes. They were £29.99, which I can't remember how I thought the prices last time um, because I seem to think a different opinion every time. But holding these jeans in my hand, I think these seem really good quality for 30 quid. I hate how they do £29.99. I know it's all like a marketing ploy, but it just irritates me. Like, just make it £30, like, really? I'd rather not have 99p come out of my bank account. But anyway, so yes, let's get them all. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know when the zip's like brand new, so it's a bit stiff. Okay, okay. Here is the first pair of jeans. Obviously, I will do the side on try on little clip. Um, now, I do actually like these. Um, I think they fit pretty well. They've got that annoying like gape at the back it's really also what i will say with denim is it's really hard for you guys to see what i'm seeing because it doesn't translate but can you see that that's got that little gappy bit but i honestly don't really mind um because then you know you can eat and they'll be comfortable i don't know if i should open this and get some more natural light i hope that's okay and i haven't just ruined this video um love the color of the wash i think these are such a beautiful wash um I actually really like them. They are a little bit like scrushy at the phalange. Again, I know the phalange is not your fanny, it's your fingers, but um, I just like the word, so I use it anyway. Um, now, obviously I was saying in the previous video that I'm kind of going off rips, but because these are quite subtle rips in terms of there's not actually that much skin on show, I do really like them. Um, they are quite long, so I would need to wear like a chunky trainer or turn them up or whatever. But they have a slight flare at the bottom, which I do like. Um, I feel like they could be a tiny bit tighter on my inner thighs, just because that tiny bit that's baggy is just like... I, I'm fully aware I'm never going to get a thigh gap. I don't really care that I don't have a thigh gap. It's just not how I was built. Um, but my thighs is just the one place that I would prefer there not to be excess fabric. Um, because it's my personal thing that I'm like not the biggest fan of. I've said that about a million times. I get annoyed with myself saying it. But I feel like it's good to point out that we all have insecurities. So sorry for my broken record. Um, but no, I actually really like them. They are pretty darn comfy. Um, obviously, the denim needs a little bit of like... <coughs> how do i just choke on air honest to god um also this is what i look like in these jeans when i am stood straight yes amazing this is what i look like in these jeans if i was to bend yes everyone has that in jeans especially when they're high-waisted it's obviously at the point like where you stick out and obviously i have my sticky out rib cage so it's even more like sticky out. So yeah, I'm just putting that in there just so you guys are aware. Cheers. Cheers to choking. So as a first, it was difficult because I don't have a full length mirror, but I think these get like a solid 7.5. You guys are going to have to rate them down below. Um, 
and let me know which ones are your fave. But yeah, I think these are a 7.5. I think we're going off with a very strong start, which is great. So let's move on to the next Zara pair. Also, random side note, I like how with these, although they've got rips, because the rip is in the knee and it's already quite wide, like I can't make it rip anymore. Do you know when you've got like ripped jeans and every time you step, you're like, <laughs> we don't want that. Um, also, it is so warm in here. I'm gonna have to open this window because trying on tight fitting jeans when this room is honestly like a furnace, this house gets so hot in the winter, which is amazing for the heating bills. Okay, I'm not sure those are gonna fit. These are a UK eight, I think. Yes. And these are also £29.99. And these kind of remind me of the Nasty Gal jeans that I showed you last week. But a slightly darker colour. But they're a similar shape. Um, and they're slightly thicker denim. But obviously the Nasty Gal ones last week that were in eight fit me like quite loosely. Whereas I don't think these are going to fit me at all. I'm not even sure it's going to get over my bum. Um, um, am I the only one that struggles with the bum? I know I'm not the only one. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, now that they're up, they're actually, oh God, this is gonna be camel toe show. Oh God. See, now that they're on, they're actually, like they don't feel, like they feel tight, but they don't feel like too tight. Obviously there is a lot of that going on when I do bend down, but am I the only one getting like major camel toe in this? I don't know if it is because they are quite tight, but I just think I look very camel-y in the nether regions. Um, I love the colour, they're a really good length, I really like the legs, it's literally just like, you know how I complain that like when bits are a bit too like phalange, like, I don't want it to be too phalange um, in terms of, like, ruffling. But I also don't want this. Like, it's almost like they're crooked. Because it's only on one side. Am I the only one seeing this? I'm not sure. But the actual jeans themselves, I actually think are really, really nice. Um, they're not very flattering on my bum at all. But we all know that with this kind of style of jeans. These are technically called... I also might look at the model photo and see if she's got a funny wedgie. That's interesting. These ones, do they not seem to have? Are these the right jeans? Okay, yeah, they aren't funnily on the girl, but she's literally wearing a size that's like three sizes too big for her, so that they look like cool and edgy. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it's kind of hard to compare, but. I actually like them, but I genuinely wouldn't keep them because A, I would literally have bitch fit every time I try and get them on and over my ass cheeks. But also, I look like I'm packing a lot for dinner and I don't want to be packing anything for dinner. So it's a nice try, but these ones are a no just in this bit. This bit literally ruins it for them. Um, because otherwise I would have given them like a solid 7.5, 8 maybe even. Um, but this puts them down to like a 5.5, a 6 maybe. Let me know. If anybody else tries these jeans, let me know if it's just a me problem. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. Okay, so we all know if these were a struggle to get off on my bum, they're going to be a struggle to get... Oh, okay, they're actually not... Okay, they're not so bad to get off my bum. Okay. When I said that we were trying these on together, I literally meant it. So, final pair of Zara jeans. Very different style. Looks like more of a low-rise-ish straight leg. These are the HW Kick, which is the Harmony Blue Kick. Wait, what? No, Harmony Blue is the shade. And this is the Premium. So, these were premium, and the price was £29.99. Every single pair of jeans I got was £29.99. Um, now, holding these up, I think the crotch looks so long, and I don't know if that's the style. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be high-waisted, like, I'm honestly unsure, but we will find out momentarily. They're a nice soft denim, so they're very easy to get on. Um, okay, I hate these jeans with a passion. 
Oh god. Oh god. I have a feeling there might be a few more flops in this video. Also, you know when they make the button and they don't make the button hole big enough for the button? It drives me freaking crazy. Come on. Button. Fit. It honestly won't go through. Like, I don't know why. How did they get it before? Okay, where's my scissors? Nothing makes me more mad than this. Okay, there we go. I made some tiny little slits. So, hopefully. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is everything I dislike in a jean. I think they are baggy where they're not supposed to be. Like they are so gapy at the back. They are hanging down like they just feel like they're just not very well fitted. They're adding so much to my thighs. They're not skinny jeans, but then they're not straight leg because they go tight at the knee and then flare out and then an ankle cut like it's just a big no from me these might suit some people but i feel like a disgusting blob in them so that's my personal opinion um they are just so i'm like if they fit me better and they but then they'd be so high-waisted I'm like, maybe they're supposed to be high-waisted, but then, I mean, then it's even worse here. Am I getting a bit of camel toe again? And then at the back, it's just ridiculous. These jeans weren't built for me. That's fine. They might be built for somebody else because the actual denim themselves, I really, really like. Um, I like how they're slightly darker at the waistband and then it goes a bit lighter. They've got some quite subtle rips. But on me, these are like a four and that's scraping the barrel. Like not even a four, maybe like a three. Basically, I would never ever wear these jeans ever in my life, pretty much. Sorry to be so um, offensive to these jeans, but it's my honest opinion. So, okay, next up, let's go to, I don't know why I'm doing clicks. What is that from? Is that a school? Did you just do like clicks? Rings a bell. It's bringing back memories. I don't know what of, but let me know down below. Um, okay, so next up was the Urban Outfitters. Now, I bought the same pair of jeans from Urban Outfitters, but these were ones that I did not want to get the size wrong because I knew it was a very important pair, so I ordered two of them. We won't mention that each pair was £95. £95, yes, each pair was £95. That's the return. Um, oh, also, yeah, that's because they are Levi's. Everyone and their dog has been telling me to try Levi jeans. You guys know that I have their 501 denim shorts and I absolutely love them. So I had to get the 501 original jeans because I just felt like it was right. Um, what I will say about Levi's is that they don't give any give. So I would say to size up. Um... And as I was purchasing, I was thinking, well, what size are my Levi shorts? But obviously shorts are very different. So my Levi shorts were a 26, which is a UK 8. But they're actually quite baggy. Now that could be because the denim is more bleached. But I didn't want to risk it and only get a 26 in these. Um, because if they didn't fit, then I felt like I wouldn't be doing a £95 pair of jeans justice. Now, my first thing I'm noticing is that they have the unbuttony bits. Now, I don't like buttons on the front of jeans. I like a zip just because it makes it less bulky. But um, we'll put them on and we'll see. As these jeans were £95, I'm expecting them to be the best fitting and the nicest jeans that I have ever tried on. But we will see. They are more than triple the price of the Zara one which is crazy. So yeah, I've got the 26 and I've also got the 28 and we will find out together um, what, oh God, these, see, this is the thing, like people that like a thick denim, Levi is for you, but I don't actually like a thick denim. I find it really uncomfortable, even if it's good quality. Okay, these are an instant absolutely freaking literally not <laughs> yeah 
This is why I didn't order just this size because I thought this might happen. Um, and this is why I now have the joy of taking these off and putting on the 28. So, smile for the camera. Sexy. Every, see with that, they'd be good for that photo, you know, when people like pose with like the jeans off and done. Oh, yes, yes. Anyway, let's put on the bigger size. Urban Outfitters, Levi's, take two. I will be the little side art on whether they are worth £95. I remember my denim shorts were freaking expensive as well, actually. Um, so I'm not even surprised. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh, sorry. These are 27s. So Levi does an in-between size. So that's quite clever. I don't remember doing that. But I don't know that these are going to be big enough. They're the exact same. 501 Originals. Okay, they definitely feel looser already just putting them on. Like it's not a struggle. It's like getting over my ankles. Okay, I just don't think I like these jeans. Like they just feel weird on my legs. Um, and you know when they feel like draggy in your thigh? Oh God, the buttons. This is why I freaking hate. Imagine you were getting all like sexy time um, and then they had to undo like 10,000 buttons on your jeans. I'm not even gonna do that one because I can't be bothered. Again, these are a big no from me. Like they are not sitting up in my crotch. Like they are literally like that far away from my fanny. Um, the actual like thigh down, I quite like. Do I think these are worth 95 of my pounds? Absolutely not. Do I think the denim shorts are worth the money? Absolutely, because I found a pair that I really, really like. So this kind of proves the point of every brand is different, every fit is different, every price is different, every single detail. It's just finding the ones for you. And sadly, £95 Levi's are not the one. Actually, not sadly, I'm freaking pleased. If these were really good fit and I loved them, I'd actually be disappointed because I would not want to spend that much money on a pair of jeans. Even though I get it because they are a for life pair, like I will keep my pair of shorts. I'm looking over there because they're in my wardrobe and I can see them. Um, don't ask me why I bought them when it's literally cold. I just thought, you know, you never know when you need denim shorts. So, yes. Not a bit of me. Um, the length is great, you know. Um, I actually quite like where they sit on the body, but all of this it's just not like you can even see like all the crinkling that's going on under my bum these are just not built for me these are not a shape for me i don't know who they're a shape for i'm assuming someone with quite like slim legs i'm not sure but they aren't they aren't for thighs and i honestly need like that much taken off in my family maybe i would like them then but yeah no 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 let's hope that topshop revives my faith now if there was one jean that I was dreading trying on, it is the Topshop Joni jean. I am very sorry to everyone that loves these jeans, but I freaking detest them. I have always hated them. I don't know what it is. I think it's because they remind me of jeggings, and I was just not here for jeggings either. So these are a big fat no for me. But I've never actually tried them on. So I can't really judge them until I do. Now, I got these at uh, waist 26, so a UK 8. These honestly look like they could fit one of my legs. Um, I'm confused.com. I'm assuming they are very stretchy. If these fit me, I will be thoroughly, thoroughly surprised. Um, Topshop jeans, these ones were £36. Now, if I compare that these were more expensive than the Zara ones, do I think these worth the price? No, they are literally a piece of elastine. Um, but maybe I'll actually really like these on the legs. I think I don't like how high waist they are, or I didn't used to. Um, but I just feel like there was a major trend when I was at school or college where just basically everyone owned a pair of Joni jeans in every single colour. And I'm pretty sure my sister did too. So, no judgments. If you like them, you like them. Now... I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be the biggest struggle to get over my bum. Like, they've obviously got a tight waistband because they're so stretchy. 
that I, it will go it's just a bit of a struggle <laughs> there we go if you don't do this to put your jeans on like i don't know I hate them. I hate them. Oh, I think the zips. Oh no, sorry, I thought the zip was broken. I hate them. I just hate them. I think it's just, I don't know. And I actually like them like knee down, but knee down is literally like not even a third of these jeans. So, I don't like where they sit on the body. Um, they cover my belly button. I would prefer them to be slightly lower waisted but then I'd look like that which you know I, it's fine it's fine but yeah so there's that so too high waisted I'm not loving the all over like block denim like I just think it looks a bit cheap and these were 36 pounds um they're all right on my bum actually it's just I don't know I genuinely don't even know what I would wear to wear a pair of jeans like this I don't really love the blue colour. I'm sorry I'm being a bitch to you, Joni Jeans. You just aren't supposed to be in my life, and that's okay. Like, you're not good for me, and I can cut you out. So, I might actually have to cut myself out of them. They're that tight. Um, they're actually not that bad, like, once I've got them on. But, yeah, it's definitely a struggle to get them on. Um, but I feel like the skinny jeans, it kind of is like that anyway. So... These are a no from me. These probably get the lowest rating. I'm going to literally give these like a one because I just, I just don't like them. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry if they're your favourite jeans. But that's fine because they're yours and they're not mine. Peace out. Okay, so I'm not having to call the backup to get them off, which is great. Um, I have one final pair of jeans left. And these are a 2830 from Topshop. Um, and these are a straight leg jean i love the color of this denim i'm definitely realizing that i'm a light denim kind of girl that's the denim that i personally prefer but i will say that these look very short now my other top shop jeans that i own that i showed you in last week's video um they are quite short as well but like because they've got like rips and stuff like it's not too noticeable but i feel like <gasps> Oh my god, these are so short. Okay, I definitely had all the good jeans in the last video. And this one's been more of a flop. But we were all waiting for that. Like, sorry, I wasn't going to be able to order. Oh my god, another episode of the buttons too. There we go. There we go. Okay, again, weird fit. Someone commented to say that when they're loose on the back, they're too small for you. Which... I might not be the biggest brain box in the world, but if something's loose at the back, it makes me think they're too big. Am I the only? Am I, I don't think I'm Einstein, but I'm just putting it out there. So I actually like these jeans. Like they're a bit, they're a bit <laughs> around here. But I actually really like them until you get to the knee, and then. Like, could someone explain to me where the rest of the jean is? Like, where are they? This is so sad because I actually really, really like these. Um, I think if I added a belt and, you know, cinched them in a little bit, they're not the, like, most flattering on the bum and, you know, they're a bit straight. But I actually really do like these. I'm just confused.com about why they are not even ankle bashers. They're, like, calf bashers. Um, and price-wise, these were £40. Um, I do think Topshop denim is worth the money when it's a denim like this. The Joni jeans, I do not think are worth 34 quid. Like, if I compare it to the Nastigal jeans last week that were £24, um, you know, they, they feel like a similar fabric. So, yeah. Hokey dokey. So now that I have spent far, far, far too much money on jeans, like, honestly, it's a bit of a sick joke. Um, I'm obviously returning probably 
I think I'm going to keep two pairs. I think I'm going to keep the Nasty Gal ones from the previous video that I keep referring to and maybe the Zara ones from this one. But please let me know down below because I actually still haven't returned the ones from last week because I've just had a very manic week. So, yes. And I wanted to like, get all the jeans so I could figure out if there was another style of ones that I'd already got that I prefer. Please refer back to the other video. Let me know. DM me. Comment on Instagram. Comment or wherever. Let me know which jeans I should keep out of both of the videos. Um, because those are what I'm thinking. But I hope you have enjoyed coming along this journey with me. Um, let me know if there's anything else that is like a staple item that you guys struggle to find that you want me to help you find and I can test them out because I do really like the concept. I'm gonna love you guys and leave you. I hope you have enjoyed my first ever testing little series. Only two, ser two, two episodes long. But yeah, let me know what else you wanna see. I love you guys a lot and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your weekend. And yeah, I love you guys. Toodle pip, happy October. Bye. Mwah. Bye.